So I graduated from high school in May, started the barber school in June, got out of barber college in Louisville in uh, November the 1st of 1956, started right here in November the 2nd, 1956. That makes this year's Clay's 55th year working at the barber shop. For Clay, though, it's not about just being a barber. It's also about being another friendly face in the neighborhood. I've got friends that I've been cutting their hair for years and years and years, and just Seaman's family up here. I've cut five generations of their hair. And uh, so you get to know the people, and just, I enjoy the people. For those who do know Clay, there is only one other thing he enjoys more than being in his shop. I've been a UK fan since I was a little boy, and uh, over the years, <clears throat> these basketballs up here, R.J. Corman out here, he's a customer of mine, he would bring me these basketballs from the UK ball players signed, uh, coaches and ball players signed them, you know. And over the years, I've just collected all this stuff in here. So, I love UK basketball. Oh, my favorite one is that brown one right up there. Now, that belonged to Winston Bennett. And uh, when he was, that, he took that out of his locker, and uh, that's when he played in the summertime on the blacktop with outside. And uh, he got all the boys to sign it. And I got it. With over five generations of families getting haircuts, this barbershop may be small in size, but holds priceless valuables. Clay is more than a barber. He is a Wilmore icon. This is Sarah Bissig reporting from Clay's Barbershop with Newswatch 3. Well, that's some, when he brought the coach in out there. That's, that's R.J. Corn's girlfriend. <laughs>